I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. If you don't know about American Mahjong, the first half of the game is when players pass tiles to each other. Three tiles that they don't want up to seven times. This can really set you up for success if you make the right decisions at the right time. So the purpose of this exercise is to practice decision making because really every decision you make could impact the next. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. It's a great way to build your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We'll roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a 10, so we're going to be player 2. Non-dealer will get 13 tiles, then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a flower, a dragon, a single dot. Then we have lots of cracks. One, three, five pairs. Two, seven, nine. If this were your hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play one, three, five, or consecutive run one through five. So the one, three, five hand would be the third hand down, one suit with flowers. And then the consecutive run hand would be the very first one under consecutive run. So I would get rid of those, maybe pass these three, focus here. We got a seven. We could play one through seven consecutive run pair hand. Whoa, look at this, year tiles. I would not pass all that. I would give up the seven. Pass these three. We got a flower. I really don't like passing flowers. So since we have a flower, I would give up the four. One, three, five, no gaps. Now, we could pass that. If we get everything we want, we may be forced to pass a pair. I would break that up right now. Pass a white dragon. We have no gaps. We didn't get keepers. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Let's pass these three. We got a keeper and we have like numbers a four and a dragon. Last right. I would risk passing this One, three, five, no keepers here. I would pass three for optional cross. We got the white dragon back. So four discards, no gaps. We could Kong, this would be the pair. We need a tile here and we need a flower so we could Kong. Kong. Kong, pair, Kong is the convention. Four discards after the Charleston I think is pretty good. This time we're going to be in west seat since I rolled 
a 7. We have a flower, pair of east and a south, three dots with a pair, four bam, pair with our bams, a two crack with our cracks. Three of each suit, multiples that don't necessarily go together. If this were your hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would probably keep the winds because sometimes they go around. When I have this kind of a spread, sometimes I'll keep winds and then focus on consecutive run just because it is the most flexible category on the card. So here we have a pair of sevens and a nine. So we already have to make a choice. Let's focus on one through four and give up the five. That's a little risky. I think what I would do here is pass one of the wins. We got a four and a one. We have five, seven, seven. We didn't get any wins, so let's break it up. pair of nines, year hand, that's pretty crazy. Let's pass these three, although we could do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's pass these. Okay, we've got like numbers, fives, four, five, One, two, three, four, two, three, four mixed suits. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the strongest. Let's break these up then. Pass these three. Focus on one, two, three, four. We got a pair of fours. You do not want to pass four pairs like that. That's really risky. So now, two, four, two, four, six, eight. Let's pass these three. Maybe we could play two, four, six, eight. There's a six and a two. Two ones. Two, four. One, two. Whoops. One, two, three, four. Let's give these up. I think one, two, three, four, second hand down is the best. There's a three. Two, three, four, joker bait. One, two, three, two, three, four with threes, joker bait. That's risky. One, two, three. Let's give up the one. We could, though, do one, two, three, four and use this as joker bait or play two, three, four and use this as joker bait. Let's pass these three. This is really risky though. Count the cost. You could be giving tiles to your opponent. 
we've got a one and a two. That's a discard. One, two, one, two. I think I probably would give those up. Focus on one, two, three, four, or two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, or two, three, four with threes concealed. I would just keep all these, discard those. I rolled a three, so we're going to be player three. We have a dragon, three dots, singles. We have six bams, two pair, one and four. Then we have three cracks, singles. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If this were my hand, I think I would play consecutive run and focus on the bams. Maybe hold the fours and the six for a potential even. Use that as joker bait. Let's pass these three. We got eights. Four six four eight two four eight two four six eight fours. Let's keep the fours. So let's pass one of each suit. That's a little risky, but at least it's one of each suit. We got a three four. Oh, that's nice. One through five, no gaps. First hand under consecutive run. Let's pass these three. Okay, we got like numbers. We have a pair of eights. Oh, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight kind of did come in. But here we have, let's see, two, four, six, eight. Let's count two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus eight tiles. No gaps. Let's give up the six. Ooh. Wow, that would be a risky pass in real life. Let's pass these three. We got a flower. Maybe we could do two, three, four with flowers. Oh, that two, eight came in. Evens, I think, might have been a really nice way to go, too. Either are viable. We got a dragon. And we do have tiles we can pass. Let's keep the dragon and pass these. No keepers. We got four, six. We got evens. I think evens were all over this Charleston. But here we have no gaps for the first hand. Or maybe we could play three, four dragon with the flower. Or we could play four, five dragon with the flower. So there are options. So we really probably have five discards. But we have options.
It really is amazing how you can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time. For that last Charleston modeling, we could have played consecutive run or evens. I think if we went with evens, it might have even had a better result. Since there were no gaps with consecutive run, I think that's viable too. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.